Okay, a little backstory first. The day was October 14, 2017. A strange cosmic object was flying past our planet, and no one had the slightest clue. Five days later, the interstellar object was on its way out of the solar system when Robert Warrick, an astronomer at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, spotted it with the Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System, PANSTARS, in Hawaii. It was, from the moment of its discovery, a weird object with weird orbit, speed, and properties. The strange object was nomenclated Aumuamua, the first known interstellar object to visit the solar system. But here is the thing, it left the solar system faster than it had entered, never to return again. And here is when it becomes really interesting. While tracking Aumuamua, we expected, perhaps naively, is that it would follow a hyperbolic orbit, as though the only force acting on it would be gravitational. What we found, however, was that a normal, perfectly hyperbolic orbit didn't quite fit what we observed. It was as though there was an additional acceleration, as though something unobserved were pushing it, in addition to the influence of gravity. Shaped like an elongated cigar, by the time it was spotted it had already zipped by our own sun, performed a slick hairpin turn, and begun hurtling off in another direction. Two things in particular fixated scientists. The first was its mysterious acceleration away from the sun, which was hard to reconcile with many ideas about what it might have been made of. The second was its peculiar shape by some estimates. It was 10 times as long as it was wide. Over the years that followed, scientific journals and global media headlines swarmed with speculation. Was it a block of solid hydrogen? Could it have been a debris? Or was it, as the esteemed Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb suggested, an artificial construction made by an intelligent extraterrestrial civilization? Now hold on to your horses because things are about to go wild. Welcome to You Curious, Discover More, No More. Okay guys, Avi Loeb is back again, and this time with a follow-up research on Aumuamua's 2017 visit. This time, he suggests that not only are there aliens in our galaxy, but there are actually four quintillion alien crafts speeding across our solar system. To be fair, Loeb isn't outright saying Aumuamua was an alien spacecraft per se, but he is saying we should be open to that possibility. In light of that outlook, he's basically asking what respectable scientists would never deign to. How many possible Aumuamuas could there be in our solar system that go unnoticed? Loeb and fellow Harvard astronomer Carson Azell looked at how many interstellar visitors we've already spotted. One can use recent traits of detection of interstellar objects and known capabilities to estimate the density of similar objects in the solar neighborhood, the astronomers wrote in the study. Since Aumuamua, there have been three more interstellar objects detected by astronomers, making it four in eight years. At that rate, Loeb and Zeller calculated there could be up to a staggering 40 decillion interstellar objects in the entire solar system including areas beyond the reach of our instruments. That number is brought down to the more humble four quintillion figure when limiting the scope to the habitable zone near the sun, which is potentially exciting since, if some of them are aliens, they'd be easier to detect. Some of Loeb's theories are boundary pushing, but he never fails to raise some fascinating points. Even if the majority of four quintillion interstellar objects turn out to just be bits of space rock, which Loeb admits is likely, that still leaves quite a bit of room for some of them to be alien spacecraft. But where are they? The first thing that comes to my mind is the Kuiper Belt, a cold, dark, and distant space in the outer solar system. It's primarily made up of icy objects, dwarf planets, dust, and comets. So far, over 2,000 Kuiper Belt objects have been catalogued. Researchers believe these are only a tiny fraction of the total number of objects scientists think are out there. But one thing that fascinated NASA in the Kuiper Belt is the 15A10 Oron. 
A quick Google search will tell you that Iran is a Kuiper Belt object, a large rock that orbits round outside the orbit of Neptune. But is it a rock? In April 2016, NASA's New Horizon spacecraft reached the Kuiper Belt. After capturing its first target, Pluto, the probe turned its sight towards a large object on a strange trajectory. Yes, we are talking about 15A10 Iran, named after the Celtic god of death, war, and the other world. Now, why is it so special, you ask? Well, most of the objects in the Kuiper Belt are made of rock and ice. But Iran doesn't move like any of cataloged object in the belt. This has made scientists question if it is made of something completely different, something much stronger, because it's rotating so fast that centrifugal force should have torn it apart. How could something spin so fast and stay intact? Scientists believe that the fast spin is creating artificial gravity, and gravity would be the most vital thing needed for long interstellar travel. You cannot have astronauts floating around the spacecraft while traversing hundreds of light years. This probed the New Horizon to take a closer look at the object. And here is when things turn strange. As the probe tried to get a closer look, suddenly, all of its sensors went dead, transmissions cut off. It was as if someone was monitoring our presence, someone or something that did not want us to know about them. But just before losing contact, NASA observed that Iran was spinning like a large spaceship would. Now, you can say that it might have been a technical glitch, but here is when things get crazier. Only when New Horizon moved away from Iran, it suddenly came back to life as if nothing had ever happened in the first place. Now I will leave it to you to assume what it was, but if it's an intelligent alien civilization, it makes complete sense to stay far away from Earth and silently observe us from the cold and dark space in the Kuiper Belt. And whenever the need arises for a closer inspection, hop onto a spacecraft and camouflage it so that it appears as a mere space rock to the beings of the planet. Coming back to the research, Loeb also suggested in the past that Aumuamua could be a piece of alien space junk, a defunct sailcraft, that has accidentally found its way to us. Or, it may be an active reconnaissance craft, sent here to check out our solar system, he had written in the study. There are reasons to favor the latter explanation, Loeb said. For starters, Aumuamua's very discovery was something of an anomaly. Our own solar system doesn't shed so many Aumuamua-like objects. In addition, Aumuamua's motion is roughly coincident with the average motion of material in our patch of the Milky Way galaxy, a kinematic space known as the local standard of rest. Indeed, that's why the object system of origin has been so hard to pin down. If I created an instrument whose identity I would like to hide, I would put it at the local standard of rest, Loeb said. Astronomers have used the Green Bank Telescope in West Virginia and the Allen Telescope Array in Northern California to listen for any possible pings coming from Aumuamua. To date, the object has remained silent. What do you guys think? Do you think Kavi Loeb has taken it too far this time? Or is he way ahead in the game? Drop in your comments to let us know, and don't forget to subscribe to you curious. Discover more, know more.